Okay, friends, so this is how we do, I feel like my camera is so anti, um, the Starburst activity, which I have assigned for this week. It's kind of a warm up in using your triangles to create various geometric constructions. And what will what you need in order to do it is just a pencil. I'm just using my regular pencil. Um, if you have a lighter lead, uh, that may be useful to you just because it's easier to erase. But we're gonna just start with a regular HB pencil. You wanna have an eraser in case you need it. And you want your 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? Which is the 90 degrees, the 30 degrees, the 60 degrees. And you want a 45, 45, 90. Mine happens to be metal. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is find the center of my plate, of my page. I'm just using a regular sheet of paper and that's fine for this one. So you can do this with a straight edge, um, if you have a long straight edge, or, a, or you could use your scale rule potentially, although we don't tend to want to draw using our scale rule as a straight edge. That's another lesson for another day. And I'm just gonna very lightly find the center of my page because that's where all points will emanate from. So by finding the lines from corner to corner, I now have located the center of my page. And I'm just gonna put a dot there and erase those construction lines for now. Since I don't know, right, it depends on the ratio of my paper, I don't know if those lines are going to be part of my final product. And if you have your eraser shield, you can practice using that. Um, and otherwise you can just erase all of the lines so that all you have is that dot, which is right in the center of your page. So now, the starburst is constructed, right, of lines at each 15 degree mark going around the whole 360 degrees of the circle. So the first line I'm going to create is the vertical, right? And I'll do that by, in this case, because I'm not using a drafting board yet. I don't have my T-square set up because you don't have your T-square yet. Um, I'm just gonna line up the bottom of my triangle to the bottom edge of the paper, right? And that is gonna give me my vertical line. And then I line up with the dot. And I slide my triangle over slightly just so that I have the width of my pencil lead visible on that dot. And then I'm going to hold my pencil up and down and run it along my triangle in order to get a nice even line basically intersecting with that dot as my vertical. So next step, right, is to find that horizontal line. In this case, I have a nice long triangle. I can do the same strategy from this edge of my page. And I'm gonna look right over the top. I'm actually looking at it in the camera because it's easier than sticking my head all the way over this way um, in order to find that spot. Again, I'm holding my pencil straight up and down. This gives me an even line weight. Okay, so now I have horizontal, vertical. Um, the next degree angle that I need, let's just do my 45 degree angles. Why not, right? This is not the triangle for that because this does not have a 45 degree angle on it. This one, however, does. So we will use this triangle to find those 45 degree marks. Now, because I used this bottom edge as a straight edge, right, when I created my vertical, I have a couple of options to get to that 45 degree, but one of them will be to slide this along until I got that nice 45 degree line that I can strike. So I'm keeping it square to the bottom of the page, aligned with the bottom of the page, and then I get that 45 degree line. I can go back and do the same in the other direction, okay? So I can come this way, line all that up, and get that nice 45 degree angle, okay? Love it, okay. So getting there, right? Getting there, getting there. If I, if I miss part of a line, I'll just come back in and strike it a little harder. Okay, let's add in those 30 degrees, right? Which is with this guy. Um, so in this case, right, I'm going to use this 30 degree angle 
basing it off of this line right here. Okay, so if I do that, now I have that 30 degree line and I can continue it by lining this up and using it as a straight edge across into this quadrant. Okay, there she goes. Great. Now I can do the same thing on the other side in the other direction. Okay, so I do that by flipping my triangle over, right, and I'm able to line it up now below that first line. I'm going to just nudge it a little bit over. Sorry, can you see that? Um, so that it'll line up straight with that center point. Right? And then I'll extend that across. You see how this is working? See what's happening here? Okay. You can continue this process now going into these individual segments, right? So that's 30 degrees. If I want to get to 15 degrees, I can use the offset of that 45 degree angle to get this 15 degree mark, okay? And now I'm finishing out the rest of my circle just by lining it up and going around, okay? So that gets that 15 degree mark. And again, it's going to extend into the other quadrant. So I can just line this guy up. And extend that over. So now I have all of those 15 degree marks. You're seeing, right, that there is a little variation in that center point. And there are some ways to be more precise about it. They tend to have to do with using your T-square as a bottom edge. Right, so if I use this as a bottom edge, I can take my 45 degree angle and then I can add, right? And so that would allow me, you see how I'm doing this, to get this line and really make sure that I'm lining it up to that point on the circle. So let's do it that way for this diagonal. So I'm gonna slide my 45 degree triangle over to this side and line it up with the bottom edge of my page, right? So this would be, if you had your T-square, you'd line it up with your T-square. Then I'm gonna take my 30 degree angle, right? And I'm gonna slide this triangle along until it lines up with that center point. Now this is a more precise way to get that center point right in the middle of where the pencil lead will be. Um, and that means that then I can strike this line and I can go all the way through the center. Good to go. Okay. We can use that same technique more or less to get this one, right? So I, and I'm going to just kind of shuffle my triangles a little bit. So if I line this up with the vertical edge, right? So it's parallel now with this line. I can slide this triangle in order to strike this 15 degrees off of vertical mark. Just make sure I'm all lined up, all right? Now I got that guy. And I can do the same thing for the other side. So I can slide this triangle down, still lining it up with that edge. Nope, I already have that one. Life is tricky. Do I have this one? I do. This is the last one, right? No, there's two. There's this line and this line that I still need. How do I get them? I'm gonna take my 30 degrees and I'm gonna figure it out, right? So it's here, right? Right there, half of 30 degrees. Great. Um, here's another trick. If you have, like you're like, I know it's this line, right? I know it's right, this is the line, okay? You can use another triangle 
right, to take this edge, which you know is the one you want, and extend it, right? So I'm just using this as a straight edge to keep this line where I need it, all right? So I know I need it here, right, where it lines up there. Now I can take this and strike that line by sliding it along that triangle. All right, I think I got a couple more. So close, y'all, right? So I need this one. I'm gonna do this in the same way. So I'm catching where that line should be. Using this as an edge, sliding my triangle up and striking this line. And now this is the last one that I see that I still need, right? So now I can use my 30 degree angle again. Hold that line using my other triangle. Slide it up. And now I have a starburst with lines every 15 degrees going all the way around. So that's your puzzle. It's been real. Um, take your time with it. Try to get every line as centered on that dot as you can. You'll notice I have a little issue here, right, where my, my line is not quite on that center spot. Um, and so that is your goal as you work through this. All right. Thanks, guys. I will see you next week.